Shoulder impingement basically results from an imbalance of muscle forces in the shoulder. The shoulder is very reliant on this balance because the skeleton provides little of the stability of the shoulder joint and the muscles and the balance between muscle groups provides the majority of stability. Impingement results when the musculature of the rotator cuff is relatively weak compared to the very strong, powerful deltoid muscle, which is the primary mover of the shoulder. Activities that involve repetitive use, like shoveling snow, where the deltoid muscle can go all day long and the rotator cuff musculature fatigues out. And a lot of times people don't notice that anything's wrong until the next day or the day following when this inflammatory process sort of ramps up and they have all this arm pain. But most of the time, people can't identify any specific event. The shoulder is so dependent on the balance between these muscle groups that subtle alterations of that will result in impingement syndrome. How we choose treatment depends on where the individual is on, on the spectrum of pathology. For impingement without significant structural injury, non-operative treatment is the rule. A rehab program, potentially a stretching program, plus or minus augmented with an injection of a little bit of steroid. It's when the pathology's been going on for a longer period of time to where more irreversible changes that can't be fixed with non-operative management arise. Rotator cuff tear is certainly the most common of those. Those require surgical treatment. They oftentimes don't respond to non-operative management. If I could encourage the entire population to do one set of exercises to minimize the risk of impingement syndrome, it would be exercises to strengthen the rotator cuff. They involve strengthening with the arm at the side, the resistance that can be used can be a rubber band, it can be a dumbbell if you're laying on your side. It's a lot easier to prevent the onset than it is to cure the problem once it starts hurting, if you will. If you can figure out a way to incorporate them into your regular activities of daily living, it's very beneficial.